Hello guys, Chris P here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce G100 in the Far Cry franchise, or at least the three games where it actually works on. <laughs> yes, guys, the GeForce G100 is a 2009 GPU. It was pretty low end at the time. It doesn't support DirectX 11, so we can't really play like Far Cry 4 and upwards. Uh, unfortunately, I'm still going to show you the error messages, so it's still a Far Cry franchise. Uh, video <laughs> and not that it matters but we're running a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigs of RAM with it and the latest NVIDIA drivers available for the G100 and first up we got the one and only Far Cry 1 this one released back in 2004 we're playing it at 720p resolution using the high settings I actually selected auto detect right there and it set itself to high still loading black screens and stuff oh my god okay okay it's not getting 25 FPS, but th these are not what I expected, to be honest. Uh, okay, interesting. The game is not getting 60, or at least it's very close to 60, and we're inside. So that means that once we go outside, it's gonna drop. Oh my god, okay. Well, 30 is not too bad, is it? It's, oh, it drops into the 20s? No, no. So the game was already five years old when this GPU came out, and this card still can't play it. Oh my god, it's so hard. Okay, okay, okay. We got this, guys. Yeah, I don't think high settings is the way to go. Uh, maybe at 800 by 600 or something like that, but no, 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 no. At 720p, I think we're gonna try out low settings as well. <laughs> Hello there, buddy. How's it going? Oh my god! It's so hard to control. There's like mouse smoothing or something like that. I think that's turned off, but still. Okay, 720p using the low settings preset now. Okay, now we're talking 100 plus FPS inside. That's pretty good. The G100 can, in fact, play this game properly. Okay. <laughs> and the graphics aren't really that different. Okay, so, oh my god. No! No! What? How? It's the same outside. What the hell? No way. G100, please. What are you doing with your life? Low settings, guys. And I restarted the game, so it's applied. I had so much hopes after seeing those FPS inside. 100 plus, you know, and now it's... Ah, it's awful. It's still awful. This doesn't make me feel good about the next games, guys. <laughs> At all. I expected way better coming from the G100. Like, inside, uh, it's good, 100 plus, but outside, I think it has very big issues handling grass in this game and vegetation. Okay, you know what? It's, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and try out 800 by 600. You know, that's that's like an OG resolution to play Far Cry uh, 1 at. Okay, so that's much better. It's only dropping into the 50s now instead of the 30s. What a relief, guys. Maybe it's actually gonna work well in the next few games. I don't know, probably not, but yeah, at least it works here. I used to play this on my uncle's PC way back in the day. I think I was like, what, 8 years old? Maybe 10 years old? Yeah, this is like, nostalgia is hitting me right now, guys. This is awesome. There we go, and there we go, another one down. Oh, no, no, the alarms. Okay, there we go. There we go. This is awesome. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, what the hell? Do they have grenade launchers? Oh, my. High refresh rate experience, guys, only at times, but uh, it's, it happens. It happens every once in a while. <laughs> You know, playing this with a CRT on this GPU wouldn't actually be that bad. Well, that's been it for Far Cry 1. Very nice experience, actually. Way better than I was expecting after seeing it running so poorly at 720p. And we're now playing 2008 Far Cry 2. And sometimes the mouse stops. It's very weird. Um, but here we go. Come on. Come on. 
just work with me here. 640 by 480 resolution using the lowest settings and DirectX 9. And uh, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's getting pretty good frames here, but let's see. Oh, no. Hey, sir. Sorry for the delay. What? So you're going to our this is... Oh, my God. Okay. Well... The, the game looks way better than Far Cry 1, like the 3D models and stuff like that. The colors are very bland, but still, the, the 3D models are now very 3D-ish, <laughs> I guess. This this came out in 2008, so it was a, a PS3 era game. Uh, this actually brings back some memories, because I tried to play this game on my G103M laptop that I had back in 2009, I believe. And it pretty much ran like this, if not worse. Why you gotta be so bad, G100? Why? <laughs> oh my god. Hello? How's it going? Very beautiful AK you got there, buddy. Can you please lend it to me, maybe? This is actually kind of a good benchmark run, because the guy's driving, it's pretty consistent. And the FPS don't drop that much, it's only like to the low 20s. So I think I, I could play like this if I really, really wanted to and I didn't have anything else. Oh boy, oh boy, he's just passed out because of the low frames per second. That is motion sickness, guys. See, the G100 is not good for you, don't buy it. <laughs> Oh my god, the mouse lag here is so real. Um, okay, so we're playing at 800 by 600, which is the lowest resolution in this game for some reason. Why don't you give me 640 by 480 game? I'm gonna lower the FOV to the minimum setting. Oh, 55, that's gonna look awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we're playing, of course, using the low settings. Oh god! Oh no! Yeah. First yes, of all, the Thank FOV you. is so bad. <laughs> Holy crap, you can't see you. You have zero peripheral vision. Th this is this is the, the meaning, the true meaning of insanity, my friends. <laughs> if you play like this, you you definitely are insane. I can't even start counting our FPS. It, it's broken. It broke everything. I'm not sure what's impressing me the most. The 8 FPS that we're getting or the insanely low FOV of 55 that looks completely horrible. Yeah, guys, you know what? Never mind. Far Cry 2 was 100% playable at 20 plus frames per second. This is just horrible. At least you have time to line up your shots. Uh, everything seems to be in slow motion with you, so that's fine. <laughs> Uh, oh, come on. Okay, there we go. I can't play it. I, I can't believe I'm actually playing the game at 7 FPS and 55 FOV and I am killing people. You know, there's not too much input lag in the mouse. I'm getting a little bit sick. <laughs> you know, this is, this is really bad. <laughs> So I managed to play this one at 640x480, it is actually at that resolution, not 800x600, but the game doesn't really support it, I just set it in the config files. It wouldn't really launch uh, at 144p, unfortunately, but we're getting slightly higher frames, as you can see. It's not 8 anymore, uh, it's close, but, well, at least it's double digits, that's something there. A little bit of a gain. Uh, well, guys, and since we're here, why not play using ultra settings at 640 by 480, right? It should be fun. Wow. Six frames per second and tons of motion blur. This is great, isn't it? Oh, boy. Well, oh, five frames per second. Oh, it's horrible. It's so horrible. We still have Blood Dragon to go, by the way, but... Okay, okay, yeah, let's stop it there for Far Cry 3, I guess. Okay, so as I told you, we're gonna try out and uh, play some Far Cry 4. It doesn't really work, uh, as you can see. Black screen, and it's done. Um, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. I thought this one was gonna work because it's just like Far Cry 3, but no, it just crashes on startup every single time for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Far Cry 5 gives us this error right here. Same with Far Cry New Dawn right here, guys. Far Cry Primal is pretty much the same. It 
doesn't even launch, doesn't show anything, and it crashes. So, unfortunately, we could only test these three, but considering that Far Cry 3 was already running in single digits, well... I'm glad that these don't work. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe I'm gonna bring like a GT710 video in all of the Far Cry games. Uh, maybe I'm gonna wait for Far Cry 6. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me know down below in the comments if you want to see that happen. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.